Hi, this is Michael Orl from MobileBarn.com, and today I have with me the latest Android-powered Nook e-reader from Barnes & Noble. It's called the Nook, the Simple Touch Reader. It's available now for $139. So let's take a look at the hardware up front and center. We've got a 6-inch e-ink touchscreen at 600 by 800 pixels. Some hardware controls on the left and right side of the display. Nothing too much to see on the left-hand edge. Up top we have the uh, power button. On the right-hand edge is a covered slot for the micro SD expansion. It has 2 gig internal though, so you're not really going to need that since that's good for about 2,000 books according to Barnes & Noble. Um, micro USB for charging. Take a look at the back. Nice contoured feel, uh, soft touch, um, rubber like coating to it. The device is about uh, 12 millimeters thick and it weighs just about 7.5 ounces. Uh, has a really good, comfortable feel to it. The contour, you know, the sculpted aspects of it really just are nice for the fingertips. You can also probably see if I point this to the light that the the screen has an anti-glare coating on it, so it's, it's really good for outdoor reading, especially good for outdoor reading. Um, there's no backlight at all, though, so if you're going to be reading in bed at night, you're going to need some sort of light source. Okay, I'm going to activate the Nook by pressing on the Nook hardware button here and then uh, swiping my finger across the unlock bar. This is the home screen. You can see we've got what we're currently reading, things that have come in from our subscriptions, a few newspapers I'm following here some recommendations either from Nook Friends or from Barnes & Noble and at the very top uh, Android users will recognize this it's um, the notification area. It doesn't pull down like you'd see on a normal smartphone or tablet but you do have access to some things like uh, turning Wi-Fi on and off. You'll notice the flicker and the you know, black wiping of the screen. That's a part of the e-ink display technology. And I'll show you a little bit how Barnes & Noble has been trying to mitigate that um, when we get into reading one of the books. But before I do that, I'm going to pull up and show you some of the other features. If you press the Nook button from anywhere, you're always going to get this little menu across the bottom here. You can see you can go to Home, your library of books. These are things I've purchased or subscriptions. And Shop for new books, as well as newspapers and magazines. And you can search as well. If I go into Settings, you can see the Android settings for the device. I have options for configuring Wi-Fi networks, changing the way the screen works, uh, even reconfiguring the buttons to uh, some limited extent. Notice there's also social down here. You can link a Facebook account and a Twitter account and share things out to those services. And you can also link a Gmail account so you can pull in your email contacts and email out recommendations and things like that. I'm going to go back to the home page here and you might have noticed I didn't mention this little book icon in the upper left hand corner. What that does is it always takes you from anywhere in the system, for example the library, will always take you to your current read exactly where you left it. By default the uh, top buttons here are for next page and previous page. And one thing you're noticing if you're a Kindle reader is there's not a black flash every time I switch pages. Now notice it just flashed then. But not here, not here, not here. Every sixth page it has to do a refresh. It's a vast improvement over what you see with uh, most e-ink devices. Also if you hold down the page button you can quickly skim through the pages which is pretty cool. These buttons down here are used for navigating through lists if you're in say a web page or some other th catalog or something. You don't have to use these hardware buttons, at least not for changing pages. You can always swipe too, which is sometimes easier. If you tap in the middle of the display, you get a different menu than you see with the Nook menu. You can change font sizes. Let's say make a larger font, and I'm going to change it to uh, something like this. You've got six fonts and seven different sizes you can work with. Of course, this one's a, easy to read from a distance, but it's uh, not much content on there. So I'm going to switch to something a little more usable and something a little more traditional looking in terms of printed books. You go to Go To, 
will let you quickly skim back and forth and always tell you how many pages are left in the current chapter, which is nice if you're laying in bed and just reading and like, well, do I finish this chapter or just put it away? You can see that, oh, well, I'm at the end, or you can see I'm 30 pages away from the end of the chapter, it's time to go to bed. Can quickly jump to a particular page. Tap again. You can find, you can search. I can share, as I mentioned, with the social aspects. I'm gonna, I could recommend it, or I could rate and review it, or I could say um, where I was, too. Let's see, um, I'm just going to like the book on Facebook. And there it goes. Close this out. Go to the index. Also going to show you how you can select words to get um, definitions or to search on Wikipedia and things like that. You can look up. And there you go. See the definition for Khufu. You can also share pa <clears throat> you can also share passages. For example, if I highlight that word again and drag out the end, I have the option to share that with people and say I'm going to share that via email. Select contact. There's no quick search unfortunately, but I'm going to go down the list here. And pick myself. You can pick multiple people. Hit done. And then I can send out that email. I can put a message in there if I like. You see the on-screen keyboard. I'm going to take a look at a newspaper here. This is the Wall Street Journal, today's edition. You see we've got graphics here, the header. Just scroll down, see what's going on. Scroll back up. Choose a story to read just by tapping on it. And again, scrolling down. Notice the next article links. I have to admit, I find the uh, navigation in newspapers to be a little bit confusing. Uh, it just doesn't work the same way as the books. Um, I'm sure you get used to it after a while, but you know, it just seems a little inconsistent to me. And again, you still have access to changing font sizes and everything like that. going to press the Nook button and go into Shop, so maybe we can pick up a new magazine to read. Tap on Magazine there, on See All, and uh, PC Mag looks like a good choice. I'm going to do the free trial, but you see I have the options for uh, buying the full issue, and monthly subscriptions as well for $1.49 in this case. Now it's downloading the content. You can see the little progress bar right there, but it's already completed because we're on a fast Wi-Fi connection. And again, works just like a newspaper or a book. You have the same functionality here. And of course, you always go home. Barnes & Noble has over 2 million books and publications available for the Nook, uh, but you also get some special features that you can access when you're in a Barnes & Noble store on a Barnes & Noble Wi-Fi connection. You'll be able to actually check out and read any e-book for up to an hour a day, just as if you had walked in the store, grabbed a book off the shelf, and just sat down and started reading. Uh, they're trying to promote, I guess, people eating at their, and drinking at their cafes, and sometimes you might actually find coupons and things like that as well when you connect to the Barnes & Noble network. It's also digital lending, so you can lend out books, your ebooks, lend them out to your Barnes & Noble Nook friends. I'm going to demonstrate the search function in the shop using the building keyboard. I'm going to search on Dune. And you'll see we come up with a lot of Frank Herbert books or related books. I'm going to pick up the 40th anniversary edition of Dune. 
I'm going to buy it for $13.99. Confirm the purchase. And you see the download taking place there. And we're already done. Can take a look at the cover while you're at it. And skip right to reading. And there's the opening cover of the book. Skim through the first couple of pages. So that's my look at the Barnes & Noble Nook, the Simple Touch Reader. It's a fantastic little e-reader device. It's on sale for $139 right now. From MobileBurn.com, I'm Michael Oral. Thanks for watching.